Hello, beautiful soul, and welcome to the Heal Healer Tarot. My name is Angel. Thank you so much for joining me here on my channel, where we learn, grow, and expand together, working to raise the collective consciousness, one unique soul at a time. This channel is dedicated to spiritual enlightenment, self-actualization, and aligning to meaning and purpose in life. So if that is something that you are interested in, then you are in the perfect place at the perfect time for the perfect reason. All we have is the now, so whenever you come across this reading, it is indeed the perfect time for you. However, we do draw upon the energies of the cosmos to help guide us like a roadmap towards your highest good and your greatest soul's vibration. This is a general collective energy read for the energy of the day for Saturday, November the 11th, 2022, all being born into the fabulous energy of two. So let's talk about the channeled intuitive astrological messages for today. The moon is in Cancer. It went into Cancer on 11.11 at 7.30 some odd in the evening. And that moon in Cancer energy is really heightening in on emotions. But it's also heightening in on the energy of your intuition as well. But emotions are very high, very high tide at this time, especially with the full moon that we just had and also with the eclipse energy. So emotions can be, you know, riding very high, lots of heightened sensitivity and heightened sensitivity, meaning like in communication with others, taking things personally could be an issue. But I'm also getting heightened sensitivity when it comes to intuition and an inner sense of knowing as well. Today may be a bit emotional. Mercury does try Neptune, bringing up some childhood memories, thoughts or your intuition is very high. You may be having thoughts to call loved ones, parents, family members. It's also a very high time for inception. So um, the energy is high today for fertility and procreation as well. Two may become one, two whole souls, the two and the nine, equally yoked energy. The one to the one brings in the twin energy, and it also brings in the energy of um, fertility. So home and heart are very significant today. Open communication is key. I keep getting this message, and um, this message keeps coming up for me every time I sit down to do a reading or every time I sit down to do the channeled intuitive astrological messages, I keep getting this same repeated message of everyone wants to be acknowledged, validated and heard. It just keeps coming up for me that everyone wants to be acknowledged, validated and heard. So I don't know how that is fitting in where it is significant, if it has anything to do with your childhood, if it has something to do with some, you know, early childhood wounding or something that still needs to be released and let go, today is a really good day for that. Ultimately, just loved, right? It's that energy of just wanting to be loved, wanting to be validated, wanting to be heard, wanting to be acknowledged. And it has to do with wanting to be like accepted and also wanting to have a family or a soul tribe to feel like you belong to something is how this energy is coming through. Um, today is a day of two. So it's all about emotional, you know, emotions, reflection, sensitivity, intuition is also a mystical energy as well. And it's a day and an energy of healing. So it's all about what type of day you want to have and what you plan to do with the energy. How do you want to use the two energy in order to manifest? So when we look at the colors, the colors of the day are black, indigo, and gray. The crystal is blue sapphire. The karmic lesson for today is all about kindness and all about forgiveness. So it's going back to that communication, the mother maternal figure, um, your siblings, if there's anything that you want to communicate in reference to that, call, check on them, see how they're doing, see how family's doing. If there's some old resolve issues or things that are coming up today is a very good day to um, heal them, release them, and move forward. 
So the herbs in the sense of the day are mayor and lavender. Today is a good day for decision making. So one of the things that you may want to do to heighten in on the energy of the day is grab your journal, paper or, pen, or just plain paper and a pen. Light a candle. Cleanse the space with some Palo Santo or sage. Light some air, some lavender, incense oils, or even a candle if you have one. Say a prayer and set your intention for the meditation. What choices do you need to make? What is in your heart? What is in your mind? What is it that you want to work through? What needs to be released? We're still in that releasing energy. We can still release as we wane into the new moon in Sagittarius. So... Um, you want to say a prayer, set your intention for the meditation, and then go within for the answers. If you want to heighten the energy, you can wear the colors of black, indigo, or gray. And also, um, you can embrace the energy even further by having your blue sapphire crystal, um, the incense, and setting the intention, and also the prayer in your meditation is key. So today is a day of choices and decision making that creates forward movement. Now the energy of Saturday, Saturday is an eight day energy, which talks about the energy of elevation. It's all about good judgment and building. And it's an energy that talks about your personal authority. So there's an energy here around seeking a higher level of attainment or seeking a higher level of understanding. So let's go ahead and take a look at the energy of the day for the collective. I'm a little nasally, a little nasally, a lot of post nasal drip today when I woke up. Energy of the day for the collective. What's coming in? Opportunities. I did pull out a new deck today or just switched up a deck. I brought out the Light Sears Tarot by Chris Ann. One of my favorite tarot decks, and I was intuitively called to it today. I was like, no, light's here. I was like, okay. Energy for the collective for Saturday, November the 12th, 2022. And we're also still in that transitional energy of 1111 because the 29 breaks down to the energy of 11, which culminates to the energy of two. So we're still in transition. And it's all about the choices that you're making about your own fulfillment, right? Nine is the energy of attainment, fulfillment, wholeness. It's wholeness within oneself. So there's any emotional aspects or things that you need to work through. It's also bringing in that energy of continued transitions transitioning from one space and place to another and that has to do with the choice so if you're having difficulty making choices because of the uh, uh, you know the significance of the change today is a day to really get in tune with oneself to figure out what's going to be the best solutions for you and so it is thank you spirit i am so grateful i am so grateful i am so grateful so let's see, what do you need to know, beautiful souls? Opportunities coming in. Wow. Choice. <laughs> you have the lovers. It could be talking about making the choices towards the things that you ultimately love. It doesn't necessarily have to do with, you know, romantic love or a relationship or anything like that. It is the energy of communication and it is also the energy of siblings. So it could be bringing up that early childhood aspects of growing up in the home with, you know, your uh, family of origin and communicating with your siblings, with your family, sending those messages like I was picking up in the astrological messages. But of course, it is a choice in love, right? So it could be choosing something that you love to do or want to do. That opportunity is coming in or it could actually be an opportunity for love or in love or to heighten your love with someone else. So let's see, actions to take. Look at this, follow your intuition, which is also Piscean energy. It's also Libra energy for me. It's that other side of the karmic veil. It's the energy of, you know, just that connection. This is a deep, deep, deep soul connection. Now I'm getting almost like um, a past life connection here. There's something very significant, right? That two, which is heightening up the energy aspect for me of Neptune. 
that Neptune energy, that dreamy energy, that energy that talks about fantasy and fulfillment. But I don't know. It's something very, um, I'm getting like otherworldly that's coming through with this energy right now. There's something I'm almost getting like, like a deep soul connection here, like um, telepathy, being able to communicate with two one another without even being in the same space and place. Just having that deep spiritual bond and connection. Um, and it is that energy of receptivity, right? What are you receiving? You could be receiving intuitive messages and downloads or just having a, a sense of yearning or a sense of calling towards something or someone that you love. So it's all about following your intuition today, just like we were talking about that two energy going within in order to find the answers because intuitively on the inside, you know, if it is for you in reference to a love and relationship situation, intuitively, you know what the best energy or the best answers is for you. The two to the six brings in the energy of the eight. It's all about ascending. It's all about elevating. It's all about growth. And remember, the eight energy talked about good judgment, potential outcomes. Look at this. I love it. You got the ten of cups. So the potential outcome is happiness, right? The potential outcome here is really just to truly have that happiness have someone that you fully connect with right this is like really full connection you communicate to each other without words you have a significant close bond your energies ignite one another it could definitely be that twin energy right i was picking that up in the intuitive astrological messages the two equally yoked energy coming together the twins to become one and it also is bringing in the energy of fertility and inception thank you spirit for how you bring in the messages but yeah definitely i love it i don't have anything else to say about this it excites me all right so following your intuition going after the things that you love and today's a win-win energy remember all we have is the now so when we're talking about the energy and how we're working and processing through the energy it's all about what you do in the now that will create the outcome or the vision or the reality that you will actually um, experience so it's all about what you do in this space and place that affects how you will exist and show up in the next space and place and this is beautiful energy so choose 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 what you love beautiful soul and what you don't see coming in, Two of Swords, there you go. Analysis paralysis, going back and forth, talking yourself out of this wonderful, beautiful potential, being on the crossroads, something that you've been tied up in your head about. Um, this is also something that spirit is trying to get you to see, that you're failing to see or failing to realize. The Two of Swords, to me, oftentimes could talk about energy of denial, not wanting to see something for what it truly is. But with all of this beautiful energy here, it can also be a fear, a fear that's coming up here. And it could go back to those early childhood woundings. There's blockages around opening up, around emotions, around deep connections, around heart space centered energy because of past things that have happened things that have gone on and so there's that repetitive cycle of doing something over and over again the same way and always getting the same results and it's blocking out what someone truly wants which is love and a deep soul connection going back to the energy that keeps coming through that ultimately all we want to do is to be recognized to be accepted to be validated and to be loved and that's how this energy is coming through very significantly look and then you have hierophant energy which is talking about a higher spiritual perspective it's also talking about a higher spiritual union and a connection and that's also what there's being failed to be seen here or the energy that's being blocked out so let's go ahead and pull a priestess of the light and see what additional messages are coming through follow your intuition beautiful soul it is definitely going to help you to make the right decision and that decision will lead to happiness 
don't talk yourself out of an opportunity to have something really truly um, positive and beautiful because of past experiences and because of fear. Thank you, Spirit. I am so grateful. I am so grateful. I am so grateful. Bright heart, light, open connections. And it's an energy of 18, which talks about the moon energy as well. So more of that moon energy coming in. Just highlighting the emotions, opening up to the emotional center, allowing the emotions and the heart to guide. Those are the repeating messages that are coming through. 18 energy. Bright heart light. This peaceful yet powerful priestess of the heart comes to bring you unbounded hope and meaningful connections. She's emerging from the forest where lush green vegetation grows all around her. Like the woman pictured here, a brilliant radiance is sourced at your own heart center with rays reaching out to the world. Even if you try to contain it, your soul light is energetically vibrant and always longing to connect. This marks a time of opening up for you. You may have been feeling disconnected or isolated lately, but you're by your own choosing or due to circumstances outside your control. Either way, you're getting ready to come out of the trees and forge the profound soul to soul connections that enrich your life and bring you into alignment with the universal fields of unlimited abundance. This is a powerful card of manifestation when you open your heart to receive from and give to others. The universe itself sends kindred souls willing to share their heart light, assistance and solutions with you. Open to a purely practical level. This open. No, sorry, not open on a purely practical level. This card could pro pretend blossoming friendships and perhaps new love on the horizon. It's time to release your hesitation, let yourself trust and open up to the honoring support all around you. Your affirmation, I am willing to connect. I open my heart and my life to the love and caring friendships my spirit desires and deserves. Affirm it in the comments section, beautiful soul. I am willing to connect. I open my heart and my life to the love and caring friendships my spirit desires and deserves. That has been your energy of the day, beautiful soul. Thank you so much for allowing me to read for you. I am truly honored and always grateful. If you haven't already done so, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and hit that like button. Share these videos with those that you believe could benefit from the messages and subscribe. Become a part of the Soul Joiner family where we learn grow and expand together working to raise the collective consciousness one unique soul at a time and that unique soul is you until our soul pass cross again soul joiners i am wishing you love peace blessings happiness and abundance be on to you have a blessed and abundant day namaste